Welcome back. We are sitting with President Obama. Just the other day you announced that same-sex couples should be able to get married. Yes, I have been going through an evolution on this issue and I have come to believe that I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. This marks a shift in your administration and in the country. How did you come to this decision? It has really come about over the last few years. In talking to family and friends and people who work in my administration it became clear. Gay Americans need to be treated fairly in this great country of ours. Some say you made this decision because you did not want to fight on the floor of the Democratic National Convention which is to be held in North Carolina. Is that true? That is just not correct. It is time for all Americans to be treated fairly, gay Americans included. But your support is really just symbolic because you aren't actually proposing a uniform federal law. That is correct and I hope it happens. I am happy to land at my support. Ah. So your support is really just words. You did more than lend symbolic support to the healthcare monopolies. You actually wrote a law for them. Jim and Bob may be able to get married but they can still only buy health insurance from a few companies in each state. Well I think it is more important that they get to be married and also will have health insurance rather than where they can't buy their insurance. Excellent point Mr. President. It is an excellent point. Let's follow the money. The President, as does the Congress, gets free health care. Whereas everyone else must purchase their insurance and they can only buy from a few companies in each state. And they can't cross state lines to find a better price. So once again large corporations enjoy a monopoly status. Well, at least more Americans will be covered by health insurance, and that was one of the foundations of my administration. It was a campaign promise and I delivered. You delivered to the health insurance companies. Show me any other business where if a citizen does not purchase from them they will be fined on their tax return, because I am sure there are a lot of people, everyday citizens, who would like to be in a business where purchasing is mandated and enforced by the federal government. Just follow the money. And in breaking news, we have just learned that Britney Spears is joining the X Factor. 